Three children and their grandmother have been killed after an Israeli strike targeted a civilian car in southern Lebanon. The mother is severely injured. Lebanon's foreign minister says the country will submit a complaint to the UN over the killing of civilians. The Israeli army claims it hit a vehicle, quote, identified as a suspected transport for terrorists. Hezbollah says its fighters fired rockets into Israel in response. An Israeli civilian was killed in the northern Israeli town of Kiryat Shmona. Zina Khodos in Beirut for us. Is there any risk that we might be seeing some sort of escalation, Zina? Well, in many ways, both sides, Hezbollah and the Israeli military, are still treading carefully. You, you mentioned the statement by the Israeli army saying that they believe that they were acting upon intelligence, that that car was carrying what they are calling terrorists. But they did kill three children, uh, including their grandmother, Hezbollah, which on Friday, the Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah promised that any civilian killed in Lebanon will Guys. be responded with an, an attack in Israel killing a civilian. So he established, if you like, that equation. And what Hezbollah did was fire a barrage of rockets that targeted the Israeli town of Kiryat Shmona. But both sides really understand the repercussions or the consequences of expanding the conflict in southern Lebanon. Nasrallah made clear that all options are on the table on the northern front. The Israelis keep on saying that we do not want war, but we will be ready for war. Now, Nasrallah is expected to give his second speech since this conflict began on Saturday. We're going to hear more on more whether or not this trajectory, if you like, the course of this conflict is going to change uh, when we hear his speech on Saturday. Zena, thank you very much indeed. Zena Khara in Beirut.